Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Understanding Adobe Photoshop. Today, we're going to take a look at a new adjustment that's unique to Photoshop CS4, and that is the vibrancy adjustment. Now, vibrancy is related to saturation, but what's cool about vibrancy is it's an isolated adjustment. It does a better job of preserving details, especially in areas of saturation. So as we start to increase saturation, the image is not going to get overly pixelated or lose all detail. It's particularly effective when skin tones are involved. So I've got two pictures that I've opened up. If you have our book, Understanding Adobe Photoshop, just follow the link and you can actually download those from Peach Pit Press. So here we go. We're going to take a quick work on this picture here. Vibrancy is available as an adjustment layer, so you can go ahead and click at the Vibrance button over in the Adjustments panel here, and we'll actually be able to work on it. Now, Vibrance is going to go after the tones in the picture. First off, I'm going to crank saturation. I want you to look at what happens. What's nice is that the color in the dress really pops, but everybody looks like they actually have sunburn. So that's not desirable. Let's just drag that back to zero. Instead of tweaking saturation first, I want to go after vibrance. Now, as we drag the vibrance slider up, you'll notice that the color of the little girl's dress gets more saturated, but the skin tones are not as affected. See, without and with. Vibrance does a great job of preserving details, especially in skin tone regions. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of saturation in, and that looks pretty good. Now, that's as simple as Vibrance really needs to be. It allows you to go after. You could, of course, make an adjustment just to a particular area if you really want to go after just that one color, but Vibrance is very intelligent in how it adjusts. If we did want to pop that dress a little bit more, I would simply choose Select Color Range, make sure the Localize Color Clusters option was checked, and then click on the dress and hold down the Shift key to grab a little bit more. And you see there, it does a pretty good job. We'll limit that just a little bit. There we go. And click OK. Creates an initial selection for us there. And see how it limited it to just that dress. That's because the vibrance layer was selected. So if you want to refine the vibrance layer, you can actually go after the fact and make a selection with color range. And it will adjust the mask that's attached to the adjustment layer. Let's go ahead and undo that for a second. So it's an entire new adjustment. And I'm going to make a new layer here. We'll click back and just add a saturation adjustment layer. And what I want to do here is make that color range adjustment again, this time doing just the dress. There we go. Clicking and dragging to get more of a selection. Tweak the fuzziness a bit. That's looking pretty good. I'll click OK, and now we'll just boost the saturation in that dress on its own, and that did a nice job. Without and with, and you see we have a nice little pop going on in the dress itself. So that worked very, very well. Now, this is just one example of using Vibrance. I'm going to show you another photo that's much more complex with lots of colors. I want you to pay particular attention to the difference between Vibrance and saturation. Let's switch to our next photo. And here we have a child posed against a very vivid backdrop with lots of colors. Let's go ahead and click Vibrance to add the Adjustments layer. And watch what happens when we pop saturation. We get a nice intensification in the colors in the backdrop, but the child's skin is completely turned to orange. Plus, a lot of the detail here in the paint strokes is completely lost. Notice how this blue area just turns to no longer being textured and just a solid color. See, before and after, we're losing a lot of the finer details in that particular area. Now, instead of doing saturation, let's take vibrance up and watch what happens. Notice we are getting a pop in the colors there, and those colors are really coming through better. But more importantly, look at the skin tones. The child's skin tones are not as affected, but the backdrop is really much more intense. And that works absolutely great. So, hopefully that makes sense to you. Vibrance is a wonderful adjustment, especially if you're dealing with things like people against a sky 
or people against a vivid backdrop, it's really a much greater refinement than a simple saturation adjustment. Plus, if you're working with Camera Raw files, you will find a vibrant slider right inside the Adobe Camera Raw 5 dialog box. Thanks again for joining us. My name is Rich Harrington. Be sure to check out all of our back episodes by visiting our blog at rastervector.com. And while you're there, you can check out the new book, Understanding Adobe Photoshop CS4 from Peach Pit Press. Thanks.